idea. President, no collusion, no collusion. I have no idea when it's going to be released. It's interesting that a man gets appointed by a deputy. He writes a report. Uh, you know, never figured that one out. Man gets appointed by a deputy. He writes a report. I had the greatest electoral victory, one of them, the history of our country. Uh, tremendous success. Uh, tens of millions of voters. And now somebody's going to write a report. Uh, who never got a vote. So we'll see what the report says. Let's see if it's fair. Uh, I have no idea when it's going to be released. Have you, have, you let, have you let others see it? Have you reversed your policy in Syria? No, no, we're in Syria. We're leaving 200 people there and 200 pe people in another place in Syria, closer to Israel, uh, for a period of time. Uh, I brought this out for you because this is a map of everything in the red. This was on election night in 2016. Everything red is ISIS. When I took it over, it was a mess. Now, on the bottom, that's the exact same. There is no red. In fact, there's actually a tiny spot which will be gone by tonight. So that's ISIS, red right there. And the bottom one is how it is today. This just came out 20 minutes ago. So this is ISIS on election day, my election day, and this is ISIS now. So that's the way it goes. I don't mind. I mean, frankly, I told the House, if you want, let them see it. Again, I say a deputy because of the fact that the attorney general uh, didn't have the courage to do it himself, a deputy that's appointed appoints another man to write a report. I just won an election with 63 million votes or so, 63 million. I had 206 to 223 in the electoral college, 306 to 223. And I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, I just won one of the greatest elections of all time in the history of this country, and even you will admit that. And now I have somebody writing a report that never got a vote? It's called the Mueller report. So explain that, because my voters don't get it, and I don't get it. Now, at the same time, let it come out, let people see it. That's up to the attorney general. We have a very good attorney general. He's a very highly respected man, and we'll see what happens. But it's sort of interesting that a man out of the blue just writes a report. I got 306 electoral votes against 223. That's a tremendous victory. I got 63 million more. I got 63 million votes. And now somebody just writes a report. I think it's ridiculous, but I want to see the report. And you know who want to see it? The tens of millions of people that love the fact that we have the greatest economy we've ever had. I'm going to Ohio right now. They were going to close the plant. It's where they make the tanks. It was going to be closed, and I stopped them from closing it. And now it's thriving and doing great. And the people of Ohio, they like Trump because I've done a great job in Ohio. And I've done a great job all over the country. That's what the people want to hear. What do you want to hear? I know nothing about it. I know that he's conflicted, and I know that his best friend is Comey, who's a bad cop, and I know that there are other things, obviously. You know, I had a business transaction with him uh, that I've reported many times that you people don't talk about, but I had a nasty business transaction with him uh, and other things. I know that he uh, put 13 highly conflicted and, you know, very angry. I call them angry Democrats in. So, you know, I, so what it is. Now, let's see whether or not it's legit. You know better than anybody, there's no collusion. There was no collusion, there was no obstruction, there was no nothing. But it's sort of an amazing thing that when you have a great victory, somebody comes in, does a report out of nowhere, tell me how that makes sense, who never got a vote, who the day before, he was retained to become special counsel. I told him he wouldn't be working at the FBI. And then the following day, they get him for this? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think people get it. With all of that being said, I look forward to seeing the report.
No, we're not talking about removing them. We're talking about leaving them and uh, for a substantial period of time because we have to make sure that if we do the deal with China, that China lives by the deal because they've had a lot of problems living by certain deals and we have to make sure. Now, no president has ever done what I've done with China. China had free reign over our country, taking out $500 billion a year for many years. We actually rebuilt China in the truest sense of the word. We rebuilt China. But we're getting along with China very well. President Xi is a friend of mine. The deal is coming along nicely. We have our top representatives going there this weekend to further the deal. But no, we have, we're taking in billions and billions of dollars right now in tariff money. And for a period of time, that will stay. Well, I don't know him. Uh, yeah, I don't know him. Uh, he's a whack job. There's no question about it. But I really don't know him. He, uh, I think he's doing a tremendous disservice to a wonderful wife. Kellyanne is a wonderful woman. And I call him Mr. Kellyanne. Uh, the fact is that he's doing a tremendous disservice to a wife and family. She's a wonderful woman. Well, are you talking about the one that you just found out about having to do with cars? No recommendation. It's up for review. And the European Union's been very tough in the United States for many years, but nobody talked about it. And uh, so we're looking at something to combat it. Not only do they charge our companies, you look, it was 1.6 billion to Google. Uh, just happened yesterday and a lot of other things, a lot of litigation. But uh, I say the European Union has been as tough on the United States as China, just not as much money involved. We'll see what happens. We'll see whether or not they negotiate a deal. If they negotiate a deal, a fair deal, that's a different story. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What do you have to get away from your Twitter attack? Uh, I think that Twitter is a way that I get out the word when we have a corrupt media, and it is corrupt and it's fake. So Twitter is a way that I can get out the word because our media is so dishonest, a lot of it, the mainstream, a lot of it. They don't report the facts. They don't report, as an example that I just showed you, they don't want to report this, so I figure I might as well show it. So when I do the Twitter statements, I get out the word from a fake and corrupt media. And I have on five sites, please, please, please. On five sites, I have over 100 million people. And that includes Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everything. And it's a way that I can get honesty out because there's tremendous dishonesty with respect to the fake news media. Good. About the work of the president, Juan Lorenzo is doing in Angola. Juan Lorenzo, the new president of Angola, is combating corruption really hard in Angola. What do you think about Well, we'll take a look at that. I'll Mr. speak to President, 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 President,